quality footwear. Boy. Quality jumps. Boy. How you like that? Boy. How hey, you like them socks? How's it going, folks? Today, we were actually supposed to do something pretty incredible this morning. I haven't really mentioned it. I don't know if, if Rob mentioned it in one of his videos, and I'm not going to because we're going to do it. We've got to go to another state in probably a couple months to do it. Um, things just did not line up the way the way we wanted to. Basically, Mother Nature is what is what kept us from from doing what we are supposed to do today. But I'm at Bass Pro Shops. So we decided let's make the most of this trip to Florida, even though we could not accomplish what we wanted to. And let's go bass fishing. So I'm in Florida. I'm at Bass Pro Shops. There's lots of boats. We're gonna get some some stankos, and some other other goodies, and uh, hopefully find some find some ponds and catch some largemouth, maybe some peacocks, maybe some snakeheads. Never caught never caught a snakehead before, so it should be fun. Where are where are the stankos at? That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Wow, these are not the cheapest baits in the world. You got the goods. Florida, Florida, Florida. We probably yeah we probably need hooks, right? I would assume yeah. you need hooks to catch fish these days, right? A little, uh, little worm hook here. I get some wacky hooks too. Walking to Bass Pro, expecting to um, pick up a pack of Sankos to go bass fishing, and end up leaving with like 50 bucks. 50 bucks worth of stuff that I already have at home, but I just didn't bring any tackle. I just wasn't really expecting that. Oh, actually, I'm gonna pick up a spinnerbait now that I'm looking at this wall. So we'll add that to the list, and we'll be fishing pretty soon. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. You guys have like a YouTube page, or? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Figured with the cameras. Yeah. All right, that's it. Seventy-five dollars later. I was guessing fifty. I was never good at chemistry, but we're we got the juice. We actually met some fans uh they were employees at bass pro and they told us what baits to get so i trust them um that's the really really awesome thing about youtube is you know there's people everywhere that watch our videos and we interact with fellow anglers and so hopefully they're gonna be able to put us on the juice with the uh the right baits who knows we may not catch fish we got good conditions though it's windy and cloudy i mean you really can't ask for any better fishing conditions than that I have no idea where anyone else is. I'm just kind of walking around Bass Pro talking to myself at this point, but we're going fishing. We're just going to walk through here. We don't even know what's back there. I can fly a drone. Oh, we can fly a drone. I can fly a drone and see oh, back there. Oh, okay, let's do that. Hey, we can just fly a drone. We're exploring ponds. Look at this. And I'm going to toss pond my drone up. Pond, yeah, pond hopping using drone technology. This is, this is some 2017 type stuff going on right now. We're going to drone. We're gonna drone it and see what we can see what we can find here. Well, after that epic drone footage, we decided it's a no-go. What is goldfish? Got some goldfish action going on. I thought you were trying to fill me up. I'm like, what's going on here? We're gonna keep on moving. That one's just too far in the woods. Sketchy. Just we've got a sketchy vibe, you know. I got a sketchy vibe, did you? Yeah. I'm sitting in the middle of like two dudes that I don't really know. So, oh, <laughs> okay. So that's the that's the vibe you're getting right now. Wow, nice. All right, so our original plan was to go to, let's see, we went to Bass Pro Shops, met some subscribers, and they told us to fish some local ponds. We ended up driving like two hours east. I don't know if it was north or east or south or west, um, we're like West Palm, and before that we were like not in West Palm. I don't know. We're fishing. We're fishing some hopefully some juicy looking stuff. Black Tip H actually met us. We grabbed some lunch. Black Tip H, you guys probably know him. He's uh, he's a YouTuber. He came and kind of told us a few juicy juicy largemouth spots. So I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing me talk throughout this entire vlog. But I'm just trying to keep you guys informed on what's going on. I mean, we've we've drove like we've driven. We've drove like a total of four to five hours today. Just. It's chaos, but we're finally, we're finally going fishing. Seven six zero one seven. And I'm gonna rig up, rig up a Sanko. Just pure confidence bait. It is pretty good conditions for moving bait, though. Not gonna lie. So I may end up switching if I don't get a bite. Rob's, Rob's gonna throw a white chatter bait. It looks like, cause uh, that's what Rob, Rob likes to do. He's, he's doing some moving baits. Everyone else it looks like they might be throwing moving baits. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Just to uh, just to see if we can catch some fish, but we're fishing, fishing a spot we never we've never fished before. None of us have I don't think ever been here. 
we don't even know if there's fish in here. We're just relying on the, the old tip of the H to uh, give us the juice spot. So I'm gonna head on down. I don't even know where the water is. I think it's I think it's kind of like a, maybe a canal. I'm not used to. You guys never see me fish Florida. I've fished Florida like three times in my entire life. But like I guess it's a lot of like canal fishing, which is something I've never done before. So we're gonna we're gonna do what we can. I've only got spinning gear, so hopefully there's not like a ton of vegetation or I don't need to be throwing a frog or punching or something. Cause that's really not gonna work. I'm just using this this little little phantom favorite rod that that rod was nice enough to lend me. So. Ooh, water is dark. Hmm, I might be going to a black and blue Sanko in a bit, but I guess I'll make, I'll make a couple casts. There's a bite. Does he have it? Yep, I got him. Got him. First fish. Little large mouth. Woo! Come to Florida? I find the flare fish, boys. You know I do. This is just, this is right up my alley. Sanko fishing for Nebraska brutes. All right, little guy, I'm gonna let you go. See you later, Freddy. So Freddy ate the weightless Sanko. There's fish in here. There's, it's confirmed there are, in fact, bass in here. This is a great lure to, uh, to find fish with. It's not like a, a great search bait necessarily where like you can cover a lot of water, but in this case, we're like, you're fishing in a canal and there's not a ton of water to fish. I mean, unless you want to walk a long ways, which obviously I don't want to. If you just kind of want to pick it apart and just see if there's actually bass, uh, I usually start with a Senko. And if there is, like if you're on a lake or like a big open water pond, then that's usually when I go to like a chatterbait or something. But for something that's like skinny water, I'm like in the little stick bait action. There's a bite. It doesn't feel very big. Yep, got another one, another baby. We're in the nursery now, boys. Senkos do catch big fish, but they also catch little little pipsqueaks like this. See you, Johnny. There's one. That one feels a little bit better. Yep, that's a decent one. That's a good one. That's much better. Let's see if I can get him out of these weeds. There. Woo! That's better. That's a solid one and a half. He's skinny. He swallowed it. There we go. That's that's the third bass. That's actually a good, pretty good sized one. If it, if it was fat, he'd probably be close to like a three. But he's uh he's nice and skinny, so he's not not a very big one. So right now, I actually came back to the truck to grab some uh, some leader line, just little like 14 pound fluorocarbon. Um, this is just the reason why I'm retying it, getting a new leader is that fish, he, uh, he kind of swallowed it and they have got, you know, all you guys should know that, you know, bass have little, little toothbrush like teeth and, uh, kind of phrase, phrase your line every once in a while. So, you know, every, every fish or two fish, I always just kind of either tie a new knot or tie a new leader. And, uh, that just prevents me from having any, any break offs. What is that? A what is that? Here. Whoa, whoa, look at this bass. That's wild. I don't think I've ever seen one. He looks dirty. <laughs> He's just a dirty little guy right there. Well, we finally caught one at the second spot after about 30 minutes of fishing. On a what, wacky rig? Yeah, wacky rig. Wacky rig Stanko. Look at that black bass. That's really cool looking, actually. Ooh, this, this pond looks dope. We got lily pads. If only I had actual good fishing equipment, I'd bring a freaking frog down here and just go ham. How'd it go today? Well, we're, uh, I'm sure this idea well, is great. The first spot was great. Yeah, the first spot was great. Then we came over to a couple other ponds and then it went south, dude. I don't know what happened. It's like we had a feeding streak and then done. Yeah, I like that camera. What kind of camera no you got fire? there, dude? You didn't have any fire spots today? The first I mean, I gave you guys an awesome first spot, and it looks like you guys did a great job. I mean, you know, Justin caught a really nice peacock bass. Actually, that's the biggest peacock bass I've ever heard of anyone catching, the most northern point of Florida. So that's impressive. You guys might have broken a record today, seriously. Um, this spot sucked, though. Yeah, this spot, this spot was pretty freaking brutal. We're going to go get ice cream. Rob's going to shove ice cream in his mouth. It's better than shoving it in other places. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not We are back. 
We're actually in a hotel. We're in Miami, right? Mm-hmm. So we drove another. We've I went from Miami is the farthest north that we've gone so far, correct? No. What's north of Miami that we went? West Palm. West Palm. So we went from the Keys, which is south, to Homestead, to, Homestead, to, to Miami, Miami to, West Palm. to West Palm, back to Miami in one day. It's 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, I think. Yeah, that's, that's our day. We put, put some miles, miles on the old truck. And, uh, but we're going to end the day. He caught a lot of fish. I caught a few fish, not a lot, no giants. I don't like anyone caught any big ones, right? Oh, three, three pounders, yeah. three pounders, no giants, no Florida brutes, but it was a good day. Uh, I'm actually headed back. Where am I going? I think I'm going to Nebraska tomorrow. Are you? And then I'm not sure this weekend. I think I'm going down to Kansas for a couple of days, and then I'm actually coming literally back where I just was today, um, on Monday for the week. So I'll be fishing in Florida again. He's going to Seattle. Seattle, so he's going to be doing some like mountainous river fishing or something, and I'm going to be picking corn, all that good <laughs> stuff. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.